What's happening? Bag sites. So, uh, one of you sent me a video called Nerd Raps Fast in Compton. So let's check this out. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Would you mind? Would you mind if I rap to you guys? Yeah, go ahead. I just wrote a song this morning, and, and I, I this is my first song. I just want to know if, if you guys like it. And you just tell me if it's good or not. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the most underrated. Everybody say they spin the fire like a dragon, nigga. Watch me come and slam. Coming from the basement, double XL, and I want the cover. There's no way that I'm not in the conversation. I don't have no basis unless it's based from playing operation. I'm castrating anybody that's hating. I ain't trying to be famous. I'm just trying to make payment from what I'm making. I'm frustrated, about to go super saiyan, and I'm causing mayhem when I rap. I got a coffin in the back, and if you're talking in the coffins, where you at? He's killing it. I'm coughing on the track. I'm exhausted from the raps. I'm trying to kick it with the broth that's on the map. Shit, make her squirt like the horse and a dolphin on his back. But I gotta be cautious in the trap. And I've been the boss, I'm in the Austin, in the Compton, in the back where it's at. I'm sounding like the auction when I snap. Snap back in the backpack. Jean vest with the back. It's so smoke, nigga. Pass that. Take a chop, stuff, nigga. Half black. Cash stacks, no cash stacks. Never pay in the smash that. If her ass fat, then I treat her like a car. Cause I'll be all in it. Might take her on a trip. But before I drop it off, I gotta wax that. Blinders is keepers. I'm all in these speakers. The work it in now. The book. It's like you got to what he's doing. You like. <laughs> Up, nigga. The way I be putting shit down, I'm snapping like a turtle. Dressed like a Merkel, they concerned about me going to commercial, killing shows without rehearsal. They go before you watch the dispersal, they commit to my lurch, that's a verbal. Copying everything that I do with you for turtle, pissing on them like a yurtle, I've been popping like a girdle, I cut everyone out the circle, the only one is sitting like a jerk, you spoiled niggas is looking kind of curdle. Shit! <laughs> he killed it. He killed it. Did you keep rapping? Filming. Yeah, man. No, I, I'm, a, I'm actually a rapper. We filming this for YouTube and shit. We, it's called uh, Nerd Freestyles and Compton or Nerd Raps and Compton or whatever. He's actually a big YouTuber. Oh <laughs> shit! My God. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a big YouTuber and I'm a rapper, so like I'm Two guest star. Brothers, they look alike. <laughs> No, he killed it. He killed it. And you know what's funny? Nobody expected him to kill it. You could tell from there, like, sure, you know, yeah. And the one dude smoked, he was like, I don't need to do it. Yeah, this motherfucker got to say. But uh, it kind of, you know, you know what? It kind of reminds me of, it kind of reminds me of uh, shit you don't expect with certain people. Like, okay, so it was nerd rapping, right? There was a dude that I knew growing up. And um, people used to talk about him bad behind his back. Like, oh, he's, he's fucking corny. He's a fucking geek. I remember this one time. We were at lunch. You ever meet a nerd that can fight? He, <laughs> he used to study martial arts, too. And I remember this one guy was talking shit, trying to punk him. You know making him look corny in front of people at the lunch table. We were in high school. He bitched him out so bad. He was like, I will fuck you up. Let's do something right now. And like, <laughs> did one dude just laugh at us? <laughs> he, he had shit to say after <laughs> This other dude I knew, no too, was kind of geeked out in uh, high school. He, um, he, he whooped this dude's ass. One of the biggest, quote-unquote, thugs that we grew up with. And he was known to be able to box. And he fucked him up. And I was like, see? Going around fucking with people, talking shit. And I was one of the dudes, you know, I was geeked out in high school. And people would talk shit to me. But the way I handled things, no one ever really approached me. No one ever tried to fight me because it was like, it, it was water off a duck's back with me. I was kind of like, okay. Yeah, you know, when you don't feed into it, you know, that's it. You know, and you, I just kept it moving. So I never got any fights in school. But 
there's other ways to handle it, like they did. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to even talk about it. I'm not going to let, let it slide off my back. I'm just going to fuck you up. So anyway, that's just a story. I just felt like it just, you know, occurred to me because he was a guy that people didn't expect probably to be able to rap. Uh, I don't know what was in their head, but it would seem if someone said, hey, you know, can I, can I show you something? Can I tell you something my raps? Can I rap for you? You know, you'd be like, all right, this motherfucker's crazy. Something wrong with him. But let me humor him. Let me do the humane thing. Do some charity today and listen to the man. You know, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> it probably was in a lot of their minds. You know what I mean? So anyway, post your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Did you think he killed it or did you think he didn't? If you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. If you didn't, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. That was a hot beat. One million subscribers. Woo!